Hello, my beautiful Geminis! Welcome to one of our special readings. As you know, this is a timeless reading requested, required by you, loves. And definitely this one is quite special for me as well. Ancestor messages for you as we speak right now by the end of the year. Whatever time you are seeing this video, either as I'm posting this video or later on or as soon as you see it. Could be even the last day of this year. You definitely have a message right here from your ancestors. And this is um, very dear to me reading. As you know, we always are in contact with our ancestors. And many times we get a lot of messages from them. So let's see here, Geminis, what your ancestors have here for you, what they want to send to you, what are those insights you need to keep an eye on. And this could be messages regards a loved one, could be regards a person you are want to be with or someone you separated could be a love could be a family could be a work situation so these messages could come random these messages could come very very deep so keep an eye on loves let's see all right gemini's we have three of swords Queen of Swords, Six of Swords, Fool, and the Page of Swords. So what I'm seeing in here is, as your ancestor tells you, put behind the worst and focus on the best. Don't overthink it, what you should do. You just do how you have been taught to. I don't know what kind of rhyme is this, but you do what you thought you need to do. It's kind of, look at here, this Queen of Swords and the Fool. I'm looking forward to my future. And I'm not, like, look at this too. Both of them are not looking to this Three of Swords, Six of Swords. So for some of you, you might leave behind something very, very painful. Could be a situation, could be a person, doesn't matter. But it's kind of like, you know, yes, I'm moving because it's not like you, you are in your emotion. It's not even that. It's kind of you are ambush. I don't know what's that, but you kind of ambush your pain. It's like, I don't need to suffer. What I need here is to learn the lesson and next time to not repeat it. Like, I see you quite in that energy that, okay, I didn't learn that time and happen again or something here happened. I don't need to stay there. And even though I know it's hard, I need to do this effort and keep moving. And I feel here you actually do. Also, for some of you, it's kind of like, for next time, I need to pay attention what I'm doing and how I am doing the things. Because something here you probably thought is bigger, but was just, you know, very small. Whew, Geminis, whatever you do, it's kind of you or not. It's like not even, you know, it's the energy here that... It's kind of pain, but no pain. Like you, you try to numb because I see you. That's why I said ambush. It's just kind of like you numb the pain. It's like, I don't need to feel anything. And somehow you don't. It's like, I'm, I'm also hearing the power of thoughts. If I'm thinking bad, I will feel bad. If I'll think that this is an opportunity to start anew, that's how it is. Your ancestors is telling you that's the way to think and go forward. And it's kind of like you already know what's the next steps you got to take. Okay, first card, we have three of wands. Yes, 
it's kind of you definitely leave something behind. You are looking towards the future, more likely. Three of Pentacles. Lovers, look at here, even your major arcana, it's right here. It's your choice. It's your choice to move forward and focus for what really matters. As I said, don't overthink it. Like for some of you, you it's kind of, I don't want to think about it. If somebody here asks you, oh, how you've done over there, it's just like, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to think about it. Justice. All what I want is that stability, that give and take energy. It's just kind of, it's, it's another burn energy. It's like, you know, we all grow through our failures. We all move through our things here. But I feel here you... Your target is somehow there, not there, not what, not how did it end. It's kind of my goals eventually will be achieved. The only three missing here, it's three of cups. For some of you, you know the true color of certain people now. For others of you, you know, some people want you to fail. And for some of you, I feel here that some people, it's kind of told you certain things, but you anyway done it. Whatever that means to you, don't let those things or that thing to get in your way. And I don't feel here you do that. I have a lot of air energy. So the way you think, very few people think. Or the way you set your goals, very few people set your goals. And it's kind of, it's very important to learn the lesson, but not stick with the past or with the whatever it's gone. And for some of you, it's just kind of, if this didn't work, that's mean I need to learn more. I need to improve more. It's not like feeling like I'm bad or anything like that. No. It's like I'm in still in the process. So let's see here. The, the Nine of Swords was this for. Two of Pentacles. And for some of you, why you don't want to think of this any longer or why you don't want to look at it is because you feel like could go other way. It's like you don't want to doubt yourself that could be better or could a different way or I could done differently. Like you, you are going for this was only the way I supposed to, basically. One more card, Spirit. Thank you. Yeah, it's like I don't want to drown myself into unknown, that I don't know this, I don't know that. It's kind of you, you don't want to go down, but you want to go out, go up. Look at here, the moon. And then we have this ten of pentacles. It's like you know, I will have this ten of pentacles. But probably now is not yet the moment. The three of wands. For some of you, definitely you manifest something here. And it's like you just choose to work on it. For some of you, you are working on the goals. For others of you, you are working to choose better. Or your choices, to make better choices. And your assistant is telling you, you definitely do what you definitely need to do. And for you, Gemini, your ancestors are more likely confirming that you definitely will go through certain, you know, hardships, but you definitely will get that give and take energy. Three of Wands. Magician. You see here, Magician and Three of Wands, the major and minor arcana. Whatever you manifest, you will get it. Might take some time and effort, but you definitely are getting there. So now, with the hangman here, you are just in the preparation. 
you are not stuck you are not that you are not moving or not doing anything the hangman here is telling you look at the things differently or look at the things from different ways from different perspective and i feel here you start already if in the past you were just feeling like oh i will never make it i could do like you it's like in the past you could be thinking like why this is happening to me now you're just like not that so now you are definitely going where you need to go. Look at this Ten of Swords. And also for some of you, you feel like I got to prepare for the worst. And I know that not, will not be easy. There's something here definitely will not be easy. But it's important to decide just to keep moving. Look at this Ten of Wands. Definitely this is not easy. Eight of Cups. Knight of Pentacles will take some time, will definitely take time, but very much well worth it, very much well worth it. Two of Cups, Two of Wands, Two of Pentacles. The Two of Swords is the one missing. The Two of Swords many times speaks about you blocking certain things, fathers of you not letting in certain things. This also speaks about heart chakras. Your heart chakra needs healing. And yes, I feel here that's kind of a thing here with this three of swords here because you there's something here about feeling. You don't feel any pain. And the Two of Swords really speaks off. Don't numb. Even though I feel the energy, I'm numbing this. I don't care anymore. I just need to do this. Like, there's something here like, allow yourself to feel again. So that through that will heal. Let me clarify really quick this Three of Swords. Why are you numbing the pain? Three of Swords speak to me. Four of Cups, Ace of Swords, Knight of Cups, Six of Pentacles, and the Strength. It's like, you know clearly, look at this King of Cups here. Allow yourself to feel again. Allow to be in your emotions. And give yourself a chance and tell yourself you are stronger than your hardships. You definitely are. You definitely are. So, indeed here, it's telling you you are much stronger. Another message here from your ancestors speaks of that don't block your heart but also manifest be crystal clear when you are manifesting if you manifest here love and many many say i really want a person to love me so i can love them you know a person can love you and they can be also in with someone in a relationship. You can love them, but there is a third party. So when you manifest, be specific. Because I feel here for some of you, slowly, slowly, you will understand how you can manifest properly. When you manifest a person, make sure you are mentioned even the color of the eyes, the, the type of body, could be even they are financial situation to be stable and to not depend on others, to be independent and probably to not have, you know, major, you know, addictions, to not be in a relationship, to look for a relationship, to want to have a relationship, short, long, be very specific because just telling I want someone to love me and I to love them, you know, can be 
many many ways and you might not get exactly the um, the one you need so be specific here that's what your ancestor is telling you when you manifest be specific because sometimes we say well i want someone to love me but they might put you in a third party yes they do love you but they cannot be with you and so on one advice loves one advice five of wands advice really speaks of it's good to know different people is it's good to be around people who are different no matter nationality no matter origin no matter who they are it's good to look into the diversity okay but also at the same time understand that people are have different goals in life make sure you are with someone who knows what they want because five of wands is a little messy energy all over the place so make sure whoever you are attracting whoever you asking the universe to bring to you they are not you know they are not in the energy oh i don't know what i want from life or they are not in the energy of you know talking with others and having other options or things like that so it's kind of like the energy speaks about organization being organized also for those people who are not knowing what they want or engaging with in you know kind of weird stuff you know just let them go the wheel of fortune is like move away from those people who don't know what they want or who are just you know in in your life for just a certain period of time because i feel here it's just kind of like the ancestors tells you you don't need chaos in your life move away from the chaos even though they are good people but if they don't know what they want from life they don't know what they want from the universe you don't need to be around them or close to them okay be inspired for more if you want more be inspired for more page of wands seven of wands and stick with that fight for that and that will change whatever you are and whatever you do now all right loves so gemini's that's what i have for your from your ancestors I hope these messages are coming through to you and if they bring you any insights let us know and I'll see you next time. Namaste.